not the NRL News. The show is time for Not the NRL News with Professor James Rochford, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say at the top, Professor, that's a darling coat. Thank is you. that tweed? That is tweed, and that's leather patches. There you go. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Now, um, I believe uh, we've got a bit of an Instagram page. We do. We have an Instagram, just a little page starter that I like people at home to follow. It's called at Maddie John Shows Fox, where we put up Awesome little videos like this one. It's obviously Phoebe Burgess going for a cruise, singing along to K-San, and uh, she got caught. It was, a, it was me, of course. Uh, <laughs> and if you look, I'm actually flying an F-18 jet and shooting at farmhouses, which obviously is a little bit dangerous, but it was so cute, so I just wanted to show everybody. Fantastic. <laughs> That's good. Now, um, Miss Auto Q, thank you. Moving on. Tonight's show is a very serious one. Salary cap scandal special. <laughs> all about the salary cap. Now, as we all know, Parramatta has been docked 12 competition points due to a salary cap breach. But it's confusing. What does it all mean? Well, kids, go get your pen and paper, because Uncle Jimmy is going to explain it to you in very simple terms. <laughs> this here is a Parramatta eels cap. Let's call it the salary cap, shall we? <laughs> Cool. Gotcha. gotcha. Nathan, let's say your head is the 2009 Parramatta Eels playing roster. When you made the grand final, right? Just pop that on for me. <laughs> Good. Your head fits under the salary cap. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Now let's say, Brian, your head is the 2016 Eels roster. Just grab the salary cap there. Same cap, pop it on. <laughs> oh. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. That's right. <laughs> Your head doesn't fit under the salary cap. Now, we either need to make your head smaller mm, or we need to find a way to make the cap bigger. Enter third-party agreements. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi, Tom. How many parties have you been to? Three. <laughs> now, he looks like a fun guy, right? He's the kind of guy you want at your club. Yeah. Well, more third-party agreements, right? That means... More room under the cap, which as a result, you get better players. Uh, so, Fletch, you better hand Gordon the cap. Yes. You see? Pop that on for me, Gordon. Oh. Better player under the salary cap. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I get it. You get it? I get it. Very good. Very good. I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's making sense. Now, Fletch, when you were at the Roosters, yep. basically with the whole entire Australian side, <laughs> you had a slightly different system, didn't you? Well, y yeah, we didn't so much have a salary cap as a, I suppose, a salary sombrero. That's funny, Rude. Yeah. Come on, Good. Jump. <laughs> jump under the sun. You can all fit under. Get it. You understand it? Everybody understands it. Understand it. <laughs> uh, moving on. It's been a tough time for the Parramatta Club, but thankfully they are a very religious team, and in their time of need, they've been turning to the big guy upstairs. Dear Lord, please make it if you want my retire. Hopefully their prayers have been answered. Actually, one of the assistant coaches sent him a message. Any chance you'll retire, Chuck? <laughs> Uh, which Chuck replied, mm, it's looking pretty good, I'll do what's best for the team, which obviously everybody's pretty happy with, <laughs> which started the old farewell <laughs> Chuck party, which Chuck wasn't invited to, which is a real shame, but I'm sure he was with them in spirit. Now, while we're on Chuck, he's been a very good player for Parramatta, one of their best, I'd have to say, one of their best. Yeah. So let's take a look at his two th 2016 stats, if we can. There he is. <laughs> Anthony Chock Watmo. What a great player. What's he done this year? Zero hit ups, zero tackles, zero metres gained, zero missed tackles, which is actually pretty good. Um, and Botox completion rate 98%. So it's been a great season for Chock. <laughs> this is pretty serious stuff. Oh. Eels fans will be sorry to see old Chock go. But one person that won't need to be worried about is Semi Rad Radra. He is at the Eels to stay. I caught up with Aussie Semi in the Kangaroos camp last week. 
<laughs> Semi, when did you find out that you'd lost all your competition points? Well, Mal went behind the bar and poured me a skewy and then broke the f <laughs> bad news to me. I was like, you're kidding, Mal. F me. <laughs> Thank you, Professor James Rothfuss.